Well, for me, uh, doing the project again, I, I love working with Ken. Uh, I, I love this. I also. Thank you. <laughs> but also because um, I think we believe in our piece. It was a, it was a grand thing to get to be involved with. Um, uh, you know, the, the music is beautiful. The story is very, very important and also very timely. It's very important for right now, I think. Uh, but I also, I'm very proud of it. Uh, and I, I think that coming to London to do it especially, to th these audiences in particular, and to spend some time here with my family, it all seems like a pretty good deal to me. I'd been in it in high school, okay? I was a palace guard in high school. Um, I was not very untalented when it came to singing, and I could kind of dance, so I have a vague memory of being in the ballet. Um, and it was a show I knew quite well from sort of being on stage and listening to it at a fairly formative time. I was like 17 years old. So it was that musical for me in high school that I remember quite vividly. Returning to it, I kind of felt like this struggle between traditional and modern culture was something that felt very resonant and very present to me. So I, I was quite um, uh, touched by that and really loved the music and really loved the challenge of it. Was also interested in kind of the, you know, the orientalism in the piece, the kind of exotic na nature of the piece. I wanted to kind of strip away and make it a bit purer story for now because we, we don't represent these kinds of stories in the same way now, so I wanted to look at it differently. I always uh, listen about the overture. It's so, I'm, I'm touching each show. But, uh, you know, just music and the songs, it's so great. And, but, uh, you know, just King has uh, some problem about political feelings. And then it's, it's such a great matching of the contemporary society feelings. Mm -hmm. You know, just a small country. How can I uh, uh, lead the uh, uh, country? Of the, in the world or something. Honestly, I'm a little bit like the goldfish in the bowl, you know, oh look, a castle. Oh look, a castle. Like I have no memory of what I did before and I see it again, I'm like, oh, what is this about this time? I try to really be like in the moment and look at it new. We have to transition it from thrust to proscenium, so that's its own big chore. And that is making sure it serves the whole theater and it, uh, that kind of transition's a big one. But beyond that, it's really me and Ken and Kelly asking these questions all over again and enjoying that. Historically and famously, King Mongkut, the, the king, saved his kingdom from being uh, overtaken. And he was the only country in the area because he educated himself and his women and his children, not in order to become different from what they are, but to, in order to remain what they were. And that's, that's the special thing, I think, the message today is, the more we learn each other, about each other, and let live and, live and let live, the more we actually survive. Um, that theme to me right now is, this is the reason I'm here. And um, I'm so proud to be doing something that says that. And I hope that that theme is what people leave with. <laughs>